Hey everyone, Pickflick here, welcome you back to the year of Final Fantasy with Final Fantasy 13. The trap! The trap! I mean, I could retry, but... Where would the fun in that be? Then again, it would speed everything up. But, it shouldn't be too bad. As long as uh, Hope does Pyro, I should be good. That is the last one I can do because I'm getting pretty low. That was close. Very close. I'm glad it didn't attack. And it got its attack just in time. I am a horrible mother figure for hope. Again though, I really can't see why people would say Lightning has no personality when she's straight up the brooding type. Or not the brooding type, but the... Man. Just let me do what I need to fucking do, okay? You guys are slowing me down. Got it. That type of character. And she also shows emotion when around with hope. It's like, I don't get it. Why would people say that? But again, I'm playing this after... Two to four years? After 13 came out? And I've read all the complaints, and I'm like, man... You guys give this game way too much shit. But I am the minority, so... Pretty sure if people play this, they would still say this story sucks, but... Because it was attached to the Final Fantasy name, it doesn't hold up. Now that I can understand, because I agree. Like, with 10, I don't think it holds up. Man, you took forever to do that. Alright. Well, I'm gonna focus on these, uh, Lobos. Hopefully one of them will poison them in time. I don't know, if any of you want to say why 13 really does suck... ...not... ...for you, but in general? I really do want to hear it. I mean, I'm sure there are plot holes, every game has their own plot holes, but... I really want to know why it sucks. As a game. As a Final Fantasy game, I'm pretty sure I'd be with you on that. And <laughs> fucking Behemoth just did heave on that, Lobo. Holy shit. Sometimes they forget their Behemoths until they do heave. And you're like, yep. I'm fighting a Behemoth. Yep, I'm gonna feel that in the morning. Some people say that Lobo is still in the air this is very day. I love doing this. If it's a big fucking enemy, I just love doing this. I mean, you saw me get giddy over Aaron doing shooting star against a bigger enemy. Come on. I think you're on something. And I want you to give me some of the hope. Some of that anger. And broodiness. And a trap. I want that item though. I see you. I see you. I see you. Motherfucker, don't think I don't see you. Yeah, why not? I got a lot. This should make things a lot easier, though. Man, this thing has a bigger, uh... ...requirement... ...for stagger than the behemoth. 
Also, thanks to our buffs, it's dying a lot quicker. I'm telling you, man. Buffs and debuffs. This is where they shine. This game really does it well. I should do it. Oh, you actually killed Hope with that. <laughs> Did you really just launch at the air? Why well, fuck that up? Even with the Fortisol, that I fucked that up. But I got the 5 stars, so that's all that matters, and I'm also gonna grab this item here. Which is also all that matters. But hey, one of us can now be a part of the Watchmen group. Veil? Hmm. Oh, Veil is pretty much a blink. In that sense, but... I don't think there's an enemy where I could use Veil until chapter 9. I say chapter 9 because the party's divided. It's essentially Final Fantasy 6 when the party divides up. What you can use and what they can- well actually, hmm. Okay, maybe in chapter 6 I can use it. Holy shit, whatever that hope. Perfect. Now lightning can flick her bean for once. Although she doesn't look like the type who would enjoy that. Now if you lick their armpits, that's something she'd enjoy. <laughs> What happened here? Bad luck. They came looking for us. And found something worse. We can't just leave them like this. Don't touch anything! <sighs> Control your emotions. If you want to survive, you forget about sympathy. <sighs> How can I explain? Think of it like a strategy. Hmm. Focus on your ultimate goal and shut out everything else. Still your mind. Move on instinct. Let doubt take over and despair will cripple you. <sighs> strategy. Good. I'll take anything to help me get through this. I'll call it... Operation Nora. Nora? My mother's name. Your revenge? Yes. Don't tell me. I know getting revenge on him won't... Bring her back. I know that! <laughs> but sorry you won't cut it. <sighs> Snow didn't kill your mother. The Sanctum did. Whose side are you on? The side of truth. Fine. I'll fight the Sanctum with you. I'll learn to survive. How can you judge someone else when you know that you're the same? 
Even I have dark secrets. Secrets I'd rather forget. I honestly don't know why Vanilla was narrating during the cutscene she's not involved in, but hey. Let's tangle and Ramba and kill these motherfuckers right here. Let's get this over with. Kill the marksman first! They're just annoying. Also, they die really quick, so... That's why you kill them first. Also, I think they buff or heal? Forget which one it was. They buff, there you go. Now they're gonna do fiery attacks. Yeah, they got end fire on them. So, bar fire increases resistance. The bar and N, it gives you the ability to do elemental attacks. Or do more elemental attacks with that element. I forget which one it was. They're actually pretty tough. But again, I haven't spent my CP yet, so that can also be a thing. I'm not sure, but... I think if you have bar fire and you're doing... Not bar fire. End fire and you're doing fire strike, no you do slightly more damage. And there's the last uh, enemy variant. A fucking motorcycle. We fought one of these before, but now it looks like more obvious that it's a fucking motorcycle. You know what? I do have the TP to use it, so... Whoa, 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 not that. Alright, so... Amelvius Velocico. Velocico? Velociraptor. Let's go with that. Damn it, too soon. You'd think it'd be looking against Thunder, but it's not. I really don't like doing the fourth attack unless I'm gonna be doing the switch because it takes too much time so I usually just cancel it if I can or I can if I time it right that's what I'm trying to get at it's almost there too so yeah just hang on and hope hangs on to life with 69 HP that's a little bit of CP for that one big ass enemy but yeah well God damn it, I was hoping they would stop chasing me over here. Surprisingly, we got five stars out of that. Anyways, item, save point, and a slightly tough enemy encounter. It's the bike plus all those shits. They got an either soul, and it restores the party's TP, which is actually sometimes useful. The age of soul, though, well, that was really good. Now, if you were to combine the fourth soul and age of soul, you're pretty much buffed out at the very beginning of the encounter. Well, that could have gone better. Synergist, thank you for keeping me alive. You know I have this feeling something bad's about to happen. We're moving. What's going on? <sighs> this is it. Operation Nora.
But if you were paying attention, you'd be able to add in a little bit more CP before this fight. But if not, you can always retry. So here we are fighting. The Aster. Proto. Florian. Did I even Libra it? I guess I did. So essentially, it's halved by everything. Or everything is halved except normal and, well, regular magic. So I think Ruin would actually help out. And this attack sucks so much. Uh, the only strategies I could give you is get Doctor's Code on, or Doctor's Mark, I forget what it's called. Because it'll help out a lot. And make sure you keep them buffs up. Didn't want to do that, but oh well. There we go. I'm glad he didn't do Bar Frost. It would have actually be useless. Unfortunately for me, I do not have the spell or anything. Because right now only water. Or not water. Kind of like the Spheromorph in Final Fantasy X. Whatever it buffs itself with, it will also, I guess, deplete itself with. So right now would be a good time for me to use lightning with, well, or lightning. Not to mention I kind of needed to heal up at that point. Now he's in fire mode. Which means ice will fuck him up and I don't have many ice attacks so... Kind of reason I went to uh, commando. I ran right into that. Could've cancelled it and not run into that but... Too late for that. Up you go! Yes, this also does work on bosses. Is it an amazing? This boss does take a while though. You know what I should have done was summon Odin when he was uh, weak against Thunder, but it's kind of too late for that. And now water will fuck it up. I remember I was fighting him at one point, and as soon as I summoned Odin, he switched to Lightning Absorb. My timing could have not been better. Motherfucker just spiked me. Alright, the dude's weak against fire now. And luckily for me, I learned fire with lightning. As long as hope gets to attack, I'm good. Oh, 
need them buffs. Kinda hate that he's Barfrost on us though. Cause if he switches to something where he can heal with it, kinda fucked. It's entirely up to you if you want to build up some extra chain or stagger or just go straight up swap into um, Gestalt mode. I'm going to build up a little bit more before he switches element so I don't want to get fucked over. By the way, if you want to just skip these animations, except these entered Tsukin, you can just press select like I just did. Until next time. You'd think it'd do a lot more damage, but if anything, it just bought us some time. Honestly, this is a really fun boss fight. It really keeps you on your toes. Most boss fights are going to be like this in the end, too. Unfortunately, I don't think you fight another one like this in maybe four or more hours. Eh, I was too slow on that one. Oh, well. That's what I get for getting cocky. Seriously, I was doing fine and I'm like, you know what? He'll survive. No, he won't. Operation Nora? Stage one complete. You did well. it. Palum Palum. That's where you live, right? We'll stop in when we get there. No. We're the sea now, and no one's there but my dad. Hope, you need to let him know what happened.
Okay, time to hunt some Lassie. So what, we find him and that's that? Don't get all hot and bothered. Sarah, am I doing the right thing? I went to the Foul Sea, hoping to help her. But I was too late. <clears throat> ow! Ah, I knew you were hard-headed, but... That was... Oh. Ow! Snap to it! We're rolling out! Yeah, yeah. Hunting the sea, right? I will keep my promise, Lightning. I thought you had somewhere in mind the way you took off. I followed the smell. What? It smells nice. All naturey. Hmm. Just smells damp. And I think something bit me. Closest city that way is Palampolum. That is not good. I wonder if those two were caught in the net. What do we do? Mm -hmm. What do we do? I mean, right now, what can we do? Mm. <sighs> right. No choice. We run? 
the other way. <sighs> Which would be to Nautilus. As we set off, it was like he'd forgotten that I was still there. We want to get the Nautilus, our roads through here. First things first, we need to clear these woods. Now there's a sight I didn't want to see. Be going or what? Guess what these are? They're flan dragoros, not flans. What, you think they're actual flans? No, they're flan dragoros. So these guys are actually kind of annoying, especially when they come out in numbers, but it means physical attacks just like most flans, and well, you can guess their weakness, their elemental weakness that is. That's what they're gonna be weak against. It's fire. They're weak against fire. That's right, they're the color they're weak against. I think that makes sense. Anywho, if you haven't, distribute your CP. I didn't, but I'm going to right after this battle. Because holy shit, they probably have like 3,000 to spend. Cool thing about fighting these is that they're really easy to stagger. Like, really easy to stagger. And there's another kill one, it shows you off that they're unremarkable and weak against fire. Come on, Saz, go! There we go. That slap attack, though, that sound effect. It's hilarious. Surprise, surprise, I got five stars though. So this is one of my favorite areas. It's fucking beautiful. It's green, it's luscious. And I really love this track. I really love Sunlet Waterscape. All this dampness is damp. Yeah, it's close enough if you ask me. One of the rare few instances where you can get a preemptive strike right in front of your fucking face. I really need Fyra, because they're going to be coming out in numbers very, very soon. God damn it, her animation and the attack fucked me over. Yeah, I gotta account for her delay. You can actually get them staggered in both Ravager mode as long as you time it, right? I'm not timing her attack animation. And there you go. That's something I learned when I was playing this on the first go. Came in handy. But eventually you're gonna get fire and you're gonna want Sass to be commando and hope he does blitz because it's gonna be very, very, very useful. Well, more mysterious fluids. Benio must be a fan of those. I never got to mention this, but in the Vile Peaks, Saz was... I don't know... It was insinuated that Saz saw Benio's panties or something, but she kind of has like a scarf, so I guess he's really into that ass. But it's weird because Benio has no ass and no chest. She's like 15 or something, man. 
to be just a little quiet for a minute, okay? For all we know, there's going to be soldiers there. Don't you go blaming it on me when you wander off and get lost. Alright, I should be getting my new weapon soon. I know you get it in the very beginning. That must be it over there. Which is why I'm mostly ignoring these guys. Please be it. Alright. Belladonna wand. And it's not that bad. I say that because it improves debuffing and you're going to be using that a lot. Also the magician's mark also kind of helps balance it out. Holy shit, almost 5,000 each. It's going to be a lot to distribute later on. Ooh. Alright. Let's listen to the music and... I'll just show off their uh, new trees, I guess, real quick. I'm not going to develop anything because I want to check. Aurora. Oh, not that bad. Overwhelm, that's something that really does help. Boost chain bonus effect of attacks for each ally targeting the same enemy. If everyone has Overwhelm and their Ravagers, holy shit, that'll build up so fucking quick. Fire, that's what I need. I think she can learn Kira now, though. I think this is a chapter where she can learn Kira. Yeah, and Asuna. And then this... No, it's not here. She can't learn an accessory yet. Poison's pretty good. I mean, if you can get the enemy poisoned, it's actually pretty good. Not that bad. I think this is a... Uh... Yeah, this is good to have, especially for the AI, because they'll be just spamming that instead of not wanting to spam D-Protect or whatever. And then for Saz, Razzmatazz the Saz. Quake is kind of eh for him. We're going to be using Vanilla for the most part. Oh, he actually switched between them like he did with Lightning and Hope. Uh, Thunder, you're not really going to need that. Well, there is one enemy you can use it against, but I'm going to ignore it. This though, this will help out. That's why you don't get Thunder, you get End Thunder. And he gets accessory here, so that's something worth building up for. One extra accessory slot is very, very useful. Should you rush it most of the time? No, but and water and thunders there. I already got that for Hope and Lightning in their respective Crystariums. Took a while though, but... It works exactly how you think it does. One extra slot, and how I mentioned it works. Oh wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, I must have got it from that boss. Tungsten Bangle. That's something for Vanille. Maybe. She does like the health. Anyways, thanks for watching this part of this play of Final Fantasy XIII. Well, me, a pig play part of the year of Final Fantasy. Enjoy this fucking view. It's pretty as fuck. Maybe not so much Vanille. Anyways, with that said, done. Kid thanks, bye.